back again to share all the visuals and UPCs. And let's get our Dollar General ducks in a row, please. There's too much information going out that's incorrect. I need to help you get back on track. Good afternoon, all you superstar Dollar General penny shoppers, remodel shoppers, and now Pog Reset shoppers. Easy Penny Shopping here. This is most definitely the moment you've been waiting for. And I'm getting ready to share with you the big NCI gift shop haul that I got last Monday. Um, why haven't I gotten this video out yet? It's to give you guys better information so that you can find items easier, faster. Always, I always say, work smarter, not harder. And that's what I'm here for. So don't freak out if your area isn't half off or if this is happening or if that's happening. I can explain 90% of that to you right now. Now I'm gonna go through this, but then I will talk along the way, all right? So I'm not gonna specify everything, but I'm gonna show you the visuals, the UPCs. I think it's really important to see them in real life versus just, you know, what it looks like in the app because it can look totally different in the store. This also helps you spot these items no matter where they are in the store because this is definitely a section that gets spread all over the place, which makes it easier for us penny shoppers to find it. So let's go ahead and talk about the first myth that is out there. And this is not anything against anybody, um, any other content creators. This is something very hard to understand. If you have not followed, ooh, what's on that? If you have not followed remodel shopping, then it's gonna be very hard for you to understand these resets. And you'll notice that this is the first video I have said, POG resets. And there's a reason for that. I was waiting to see what all info got put out there. And then I wanna explain what it all means and why you're seeing something different. So yes, this is another example of a POG reset. POG means planogram. Any section you look at in your Dollar General store, you will see as seasons change, as they remove products from the shelf and they move them to clearance, all of those are POG resets. So your POG is just pretty much telling them they have pictures of it. It tells them exactly what items are going to go in that section, what ones should be hanging, what ones should be on shelf one, shelf two, what order they're supposed to be in. It's basically a diagram for them to know how to set up each section. There are POG resets all year around, okay? With POG resets, they also update the shelf strips. The shelf strips have the pricing on them. If you guys have followed me for very long or if you have been following Dollar General in the news, they are under mass lawsuit due to price gouging. Reason is because many people figured out that when they looked at the shelf and they thought they were buying this item, making it up for $225, then when they checked their receipt, they actually paid $275. The reason for that is that planogram has not been updated. It has not been reset. So the pricing labels, the shelf strips, have not been reset. So we are seeing basically a mass POG reset in stores. Whether it is these actual sections that are pinning or it's just across the board. These stores are trying to get caught up all across the country because there are so many items still on the shelf that are supposed to be in the clearance section. There are so many items on the shelf that are priced wrong. And if you guys shop Dollar General very much, then you know this. We see this. We know this. So the POG resets, like I said, they happen all the time. But we don't notice it as much. But anytime you see in your store, you know, you see them remove a ton of coffee from the coffee section and it moves to clearance. That was a POG reset. But because of all the lawsuits, also because of all the OSHA violations, I have a video, I'll have to link it below. I talked about this at the beginning of the year. Um, 
their stores, we all know, are so overloaded. They are trying to get them cleared out because they have paid out millions in OSHA regulation issue, whatever, fee, fines, all right? If you've shopped at Dollar General very long, you know. They do more buy one, get one sales now than ever, ever. And they do a lot of them. Why? They're trying to get stuff out of the store. Same with clearance events. They are doing more clearance and events theft. than ever before. Why? They're trying to get stuff out of the stores. It has nothing to do with penny shopping. A lot of people have commented in the past, you know, oh, they're just trying to get rid of them before they become a penny. I'm telling you, us penny shoppers are so low on their radar if you look at the big picture, do you know how many millions of dollars Dollar General is losing just based on fines from OSHA? All right. Then add in this mass lawsuit that's happening because of all the what they're calling price gouging. And they're not doing it on purpose. It's because the stores are so far behind. They're so understaffed. They don't have time to get all of this done so now we're seeing more and more happening and this is just kind of now a whole section you know going like the NCI gift section no that doesn't normally happen okay but yes we definitely have had it happen in the past so when they are trying to get rid of um, a whole section and that store has not been remodeled to get rid of it or it's not on the list to get remodeled in the near future then they go ahead and do these full-on area pog resets, okay? None of this is new. Not a single thing. These are the glasses I wanted really bad. My son's school colors are black and gold. These are not just pinning on Mondays. Again, did I find mine on a Monday? Yes, that was the first flip we saw. Another reason why Carrie and I did not put out public videos about this, because although we knew, or 90% knew, it was going to happen, we did not know exactly what days it was going to happen. So, I said my store flipped on Monday. Guess what? Since then, yes, other paid members. We have had stores flip on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I haven't got feedback on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. No, they didn't flip Sunday. But that's not to say that none did. So they could flip any day. Please do not assume your store is going to flip on a Monday. Please do not, because you may miss it. In addition to that, please do not assume that this is going to happen in the next month. This is something that is country countrywide. Okay? This is going to take time. It is not all going to happen at once. That's not how these things work. So right now, yes, you want to figure out your local stores. Who even still has this in stock? That's a big concern of mine. I do not want you to run if you see zeros. Because even if you see zeros, that does not mean a thing. Because if your store remodeled last year, this year, two months ago, 18 months ago, they may have already gotten rid of this section. It's not even there. Also, just the amount of stuff. You know, it depends on the store how much they're going to have in stock. Not all of them are going to have a big NCI section. I was in a newer store. That store has probably only been open for a couple years. And so they did. They had a mass amount of NCI stuff or the NCI gift stuff. But it's because it's not selling, hence why they're phasing it out. They have been phasing it out for like two years, okay? Your main thing in watching your stores right now is to figure out, do they actually even have the items or have they already been phased out during a remodel? Next, who still has them at half off, or I'm sorry, at full price? Screenshot it so you don't lose track. Then... Who has them half off? Any store that has the entire gift section half off, those are the stores that you want to watch like a hawk. Please remember, do not run. 
This is a very extreme. Your miles may vary. Okay. This is not your typical situation. This might take two months. This might take six months. This might even take a year. I don't know. Four months from now, they may all penny at the same time. I can't predict Dollar General's future. Dollar General cannot predict their own future. But I will guide you as best as I can. And I promise I will never mislead you just so you'll watch my video. All right. Peace, love, pennies. Go get them. <laughs>